Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is February 6th, 2021, and this is the Flight Sim News. So first up, it looks like DCS uh, is free to play and is on sale again. So the guys at Eagle Dynamics have started their Lunar Sale, which means 50% off on most DCS World products and all the modules once again are free to play now until February 15th 2021 um, as usual there's a few things that aren't on sale most of the newest stuff that's been released is only like 30 percent off and uh, as usual the JF 17 isn't very much on sale nor is the Tomcat those are the two that seems every time they have a sale those guys just don't want to give very much on them um, but it is a good time to jump in and grab a module, a map, a campaign, um, and jump in and try things out. You know, everything's on free to play again, so that's fantastic news. I'll throw a link to this video in the video description as usual, and you can check it out for yourself. Another developer that I've seen pop up with more tidbits of information more frequently as of late has been Leatherneck Simulations. And these are the guys doing uh, the F4U Corsair. And uh, this post goes on to say, is 2,000 pounds of bombs not enough to blast bridges? Here's an option to help deliver an extra 1,000 pounds. Developed by British Aerospace Company Brewster, this design was licensed to several companies in the U.S. and New Zealand during the F4U-1A's reign. We have decided to include the center pylon for use with the F4U-1D as well. Mounted between the sway bars is the Mark 51 Mod 7 bomb wrap capable of withholding 1,600 pounds. The other pylon pictured is what the actual assembly looks like inside the fairings and caps. There are two where one is mounted under each inner wing behind the oil cooler flap. Uh, included in the assembly are two AN2 arming solenoids and the ANB10 shackle capable of carrying 1,600 pounds. Try not to get your fairings shot off. Interesting. I'll definitely throw a link to this in the video description as usual and you can check it out for yourself but I'm really looking forward to the course here that's one I want to happen more than anything right now I think that's gonna be a blast so big Nui over at Eagle Dynamics earlier in the week had posted uh, that there's a P47 uh, livery contest uh, using the official template found here, we are holding a Thunderbolt livery contest. Only the top 10 submissions will be chosen and included in the module. Your name will also be included in the official manual. Here are some of the requirements and details. The skin must be created using this template, and there's a link right there. Uh, the skin can be historically accurate or fictional. However, the skin must be associated with one of the countries currently present in DCS world. Here are the instructions for saving textures with MIP levels using NVIDIA texture tools for Adobe Photoshop and after submitting your file to user files please enter the P47 the Thunderbolt skin competition forum topic with a screenshot and link to your file. Uh, this contest will run until the 5th of March. So all you guys who are good out there of reskinning uh, planes in DCS world, this might be your opportunity. Uh, it didn't say what the prize was other than your name will be included in the manual. So not sure that's a great competition but uh, anyways I'll throw a link to it in the uh, video description as usual and you can check it out for yourself alrighty our good friend Sergio over at the Hellasimmer has uh, achieved a bunch of uh, exclusive screenshots of the MI24P for DCS world and they are watermarked work in progress exclusive for Hellasimmer.com uh, bunch of shots and he goes on to say there's no more information at the time but we know the MI24 hind is not that far away from release and pre-order and here are the images yeah this one's gonna be a lot of fun Hope 
hoping the learning curve ain't too steep because it's a Russian aircraft, but we'll have to see. That looks fantastic. Good job, Sergio. I will throw a link to the uh, exclusive page over there at hellersimmer.com uh, in the video description as usual, and you can check it out for yourself. All right, in IL-2 Stormovic news, uh, DevBlog271 has went live. Uh, it says there will be a lot of Battle of Normandy news in 2021. Relatively soon, we'll be able to show you the first landscape shots, while today we have some of the ground vehicles that are already done. Please note that the quality level for the new trucks, armored cars, and other objects for Normandy has increased. Of course, the new objects will benefit from all the previously developed physics and AI improvements. And then they go to, on to mention these vehicles. There's a Dodge WC-54, an Austin K2-Y uh, ordinance, QF-17 Pounder, uh, SDKFZ-222, uh, an Ames, an SCR-584, an SCR and that's about it for this one. So really, it's just a bunch of images of vehicles. Nonetheless, they look pretty cool, so I'll definitely throw a link to this in the video description as usual, and you can check it out for yourself. All right, drum roll. The biggest piece of news for this week is that Heat Blur has let the cat out of the bag. Uh, they go on to say, we are super excited for the A6E and KA6 being added to DCS World as AI units in the near future as part of the development cycle of the F-14. And this part was no secret. But they go on to say, we will be developing an A6 as a fully flyable module together with our partners at Eagle Dynamics as part of a broad and ambitious DCS roadmap for a growing and hungry heat blur team. Stay tuned for more information as we forge ahead through 2021. So that is fantastic news. So there's going to be an A6 and it's going to be flyable. Uh, full-on, full-fidelity module. How awesome is that, guys? So, And uh, they go on to uh, show some images in the new video they just put out as well. And this is the new video. It's about 6 minutes and 40 seconds long. Um, there's probably copyrighted music in here, so I'm not going to play it. But I will throw a link to this in the video description as usual so you can check it out for yourself. And when you do, it is a really cool song this time. And uh, there's a lot of great footage in there. And it's called Reach for the Skies. So uh, be sure to check it out and watch for little, you know, different planes popping up that are part of the, uh, you know, future roadmap of 2021. And um, they do say in this that the clouds are coming in March of 2021. It says, we've endeavored to bring you one of the most lifelike simulations of clouds in a flight simulation. In March 2021, we're excited to bring this to you. So, fantastic news. And again, watch this video because they do show the MiG-29 a few times too. So that leads me to believe that we are going to get that full fidelity MiG-29 module as well. So A6, MiG-29, Mi-24. It's looking like 2021 is going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time, guys.